Creating sci-fi characters in Affinity Photo is not as really difficult as, as you might think it is. And you don't really need a lot of um, sketching and drawing ability. And probably in this exercise, it's more suitable for young people maybe starting out. Certainly um, an experienced graphic artist will have a good laugh at this. But there you go. And it's so easy with a little sneaky addition. So let's have a look and see what I did. Here in Photos, Recents, and that one there. Now, that was a sketch, a pencil sketch, done on a post-it note. That's, what, eight centimetres by eight centimetres. I photographed it with my iPhone and put it into Apple Photos. Not a problem, you can see it there, and there's a few others I've got from different sources and loaded those into Apple Photos. Now, you might think, what, eight centimeters by eight centimeters? This is not the biggest drawing in the world. But what I did then was take the photo and load it into Affinity Photo. Just waiting for it to initialize here. A new design, import from photos. There it is there, Recents, that's the one we want. Now you think, okay, so it's still only eight centimeters by eight centimeters, a square post-it note. But what I want to do in the end, I want it to be a really large image. So we've got to resize the image. I don't want it in pixels, I want it in centimeters because I want to make it a portrait so it's let's see 18 centimeters by 24 centimeters now that's a fairly standard size and it's a good aspect ratio 18 by 24 units it's a document and apply doesn't change on the screen of course and you can see the top edge of the post-it note there and the bottom edge of the post-it note. And that's okay. That's fine. Now, what's our next step? Well, we've got that layer there. But what we need is a brush. A paintbrush layer. Now, I'm going to start by colouring this robot. Well, let's see. A gold colour down there. Now, we don't want it bright gold. We want a, a kind of a grungy gold. Let's see, a dark, mm, dark like that. Maybe like that, a little bit brighter. It doesn't have to be too dark. And let's check our 64 pixel width. Now, remember, this is a really large document now. So your coloring going to look rather large on there so we need to reduce that brush size oh, 5 6 7 8 9 10 you can see I put too much color on there let's go back ten pixels okay The idea being that what you've got there is your basic form so that you can move it into your desktop or iPad version of Affinity Photo. And we just colour around there. Now you can be as careful or as rough as you like with this. Oh, there's my, there's my clock donging in the background in case you're wondering what that was. But let's see. Now we got over the other side of the of the um, robot there. This is not your classic robot, obviously, but the other thing I want to do. We still got brushes. It's that color. Now that's a fairly large. Forty-seven. I want to make a red. A bright red brush. A 
and put it in there. Now, did I tell you I'm using an Apple Pencil? Now, you can change the amount of ink that's on there, hardness, the flow and opacity. I've got 100% opacity. Let's reduce the opacity to 50%. 49, 54, 2, 1, 0, 50%. Now, color picker, we'll go back to there, but back to the brush, select that. There's our color there. But what I want to do is darken that color a bit. So I want to go down there. Now the interesting thing with this is that you can change your brushes. Now I'll see if I can find a grunge brush to use on this. But what I wanted to show you was how to do a drawing in Affinity Photo. Not designer. You see the see the different um, colors I'm getting there? That's pressure. The harder I hold down the Apple Pencil, the, the browner the patch I get. If I just leave it go lightly like that, there we go. We want that one back again because we've got a bit more to do in there and so on. Now, you don't want to spend the rest of the day watching me colour this in because there are other things to do. Let's have a look at the brush studio. Now, there's the different brushes. There's painting brushes, brush sets, spray cans, textures. Let's see what's under textures. Now, there's some really neat textures which will give different textures to your painting. Let's see, Grunge 2. That's that one there, but it's created a massive brush. And we don't want, you can see the circle going down. That's a, now that's not too bad. Let's give it a different, slightly different color. That's a brassy color it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be brass, right? Now it's a light color there now. And we can go over that by just touching it. And that gives that slight brassy colour to the, to the panel. It's not very thick, but you can see it under the blue dot there, like that. Now we can go over the whole thing like that. Now, as I mentioned, I won't keep going with this because um, you can see what I've done. Now, that's from a post-it note, 8 centimetres by 8 centimetres, brought into here, and it's now in this document, and the dimensions are now 3024 by 4032 pixels. Let's see what that looks like up here. Resize the documents. 18 centimetres by 24 centimetres. That's pretty good. And there it is. Let's go back to the brush. We don't want a textured brush. We just want a basic brush. Okay, that's all we want. Opacity is 100%. The flow is 80. Let's not give it quite so much opacity. And back there. There we go. And you can do all sorts of colours. Let's give a bit of shadow in there.
brush type, basic. And do we want a really big one? We want a round brush. Okay. Whoops. Way too much. See the little white circle in the middle there? That's showing you your brush size. Now that's not bad. So let's go down there. And you can see that's quite dark down there. Opacity, 50%. Flow, we don't want so much ink coming off the pen. And hardness, let's soften that up a bit. And already you can see that's a bit softer. And I'm just touching it with the pen tip there. Now I'll go back over and change all that of course. Um, but the idea being that you can see what you're doing there. Let's reduce him in size a little bit. There you go. One robot. And you can see how it's starting to colour. Now if I took my time with that, which of course I will do, but I just wanted to show you in a quick um, session how you can uh, get your own characters going and your own cityscapes. Do them on a post-it note, photograph it with your iPad or your iPhone, put it into Apple Photos, load it into Affinity Photo, it's in its own layer and you can work on it. Now, what I would have done normally is add a layer above that, a pixel layer, and that layer in there is the one you work on. You can see this here. Let me show you. We've got a nice bright brassy colour there. Let's give his helmet a bit of brass. Oops. Got to go back to the paintbrush, of course. Layers, and there's that layer. So what I've done here actually made a huge mistake. Coloured everything on the background layer. Didn't add a layer above it. Oops, gone. You see? And there's... If you remember, if you want to put each painted section on its own layer, you can come back and change it. Easy as. There we go. Don't make the same mistake I just did and put everything on one layer. Here's me thinking that adding a brush and brushing on the layer would create a new layer, but it didn't automatically create one. My bad. Okay, that's it for that little this little exercise. Hope it gives you some ideas. Okay, what I'm going to do is put this little, little addition on so you can see how I should have created the layers before I started working before. Let's import the photo. There we go. There's our raw photo from the pho Apple Photos library. Remember, that's just our little background layer locked. Oh, whoops. Lock the layer. Now we'll add a pixel layer. Select that pixel layer and select our brush. Select our brassy color. I'm, I'm thinking that the robot may well be made of brass. Oops, I need the brush. I am making mistakes, aren't I? It must be too late. In the afternoon let's get rid of that the color wheel we don't want black we want that normally I'll put these into their own um, in, into their own swatch and use that but I'm using the color wheel because I want to move around the color wheel a bit we don't want a 64 pixel width brush we want you can see the little circle in the center there What I didn't do, of course, so far, too many mistakes. Go over there, resize. 
change it to centimeters and that's gigantic as you can see we want 18 by 24 just as before apply that now now we've got an 18 by 24 is about the same size as an A4 sheet of paper let's select our brush tool again we've got our orange or brassy color now we can start painting oops and what's the brush done so many things to check for a fantastically large pixel uh, brush let's let's stroke that up and down a little bit now that's not too bad we can see that working you saw again that pixel in the center the center circle 33.1 pixels is our brush size the opacity i'll make it 50 we don't want paint pouring on there 50 okay the flow rate we don't want it pouring out of the thing 50 think of it as paint and the hardness is zero we don't want real hard edged we want uh, more feather edge now let's see what how we go that's better you can see we've got that there and it's run over the marks a bit of course that's in our pixel layer right and that's what we want so we continue working in here in our pixel layer this is affinity photo not affinity designer so don't be worried about all the little problems that you'll get in designer now i want to put a red band in his um, eyes there so i'll create another pixel layer make sure i've got it selected and why do i want to do that because at the moment i'm going to make his his um, vision a nice bright red we want a very small brush for this you can see it in the center of there just up it appears around about here and there it is little red dot let's just undo that I've left the opacity and flow the way they are and there's you can see his red his uh, his red vision now that's really good because rather than have the whole thing the same all the colors as i did originally on the background image here if you want to change that you just need to go to there select a different color And put it in there and that's changed the red still there you can see it behind it because I'm not being careful I'm showing you how it's done there we go a little addition to the original video